This is how you can optimize your CPU for ultimate gaming and performance. This will work for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 as well as any low-end, mid or high-end PC and laptop helping you increase FPS, reduce input latency and fix any stutters within the games that you play. These methods will unlock the maximum performance of your CPU helping you get more FPS and fix any micro stutters that you might be experiencing. And I'm not gonna waste your time so let's dive into it. But quickly guys if you want zero ping in any game that you play then check out the gear up booster from the link in the description as it provides you with the optimal network routes giving you zero ping and packet loss in every game. So go down into the description and download the Europe booster now and now let's get back into the video. We are going to start off with basic CPU optimizations. These are going to help you just a tiny bit with the overall improvement in the CPU performance but last time I checked compounding was said to be the 8th wonder of this world meaning that these small changes if done right can combine to provide a much more impactful result on the FPS and the overall latency in improvements as well. So to start these tiny bit improvements, the first thing that you need to do is right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager. Then go inside of the startup tab and then right click and disable any of the softwares that you don't want to start up with your windows. Don't worry this will not affect the functionality of any of these applications, it will just not allow them to boot up along with the windows which will not only improve your boot up time but it will also decrease the load on your CPU right after it starts up, meaning that you will have more CPU resources available for your games. So go through this whole list and disable all of the ones that you don't require. In order to disable one of these applications, simply click on the application and then click on the disable button which should be right here. Since I have already disabled it, it tells me to enable it but I would honestly be stupid to enable Google Chrome while my system boots up. Hence, I'm telling all of you Gigabrain chads to disable Google Chrome as well as any other browser and any other application that you don't require to survive when you boot up your windows. Now that we are clear on this one, you can close out of this. For the next tiny change, go ahead and open up the start menu and go inside of the settings. Inside of the settings, go into the gaming section and make sure that the Xbox game bar is turned off. I know that the little Timmy watching this video right now clips his games using the Xbox game bar but little Timmy, I have some news for you. This makes your game completely horrible while it runs in the background. You can use other options like the Nvidia Shadow Play which I personally wouldn't even recommend that one but that is still better than the game bar itself. You can also use alternatives like the OBS as well. All in all, all I want you to do right Right now is to go ahead and simply disable the Xbox game bar. Then move on to the game mode and make sure that this one is turned on. Game mode has had a lot of improvements done to it with each new update that the windows gets so I'm pretty satisfied with it and so should you be. And now that you are already here simply go ahead and click on the graphic settings under the related settings and then just go ahead and turn on the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling if you have that option available. For me unfortunately I don't have that so I'm gonna go ahead and cry in the corner but for those of you guys who are lucky enough to have that option. Go ahead and use it mate, what are you waiting for? As for the choose an app to set preference, simply go ahead and click on the desktop app and click on browse. Inside of here what you want to do is locate the executable file for your specific game and add it inside of the settings. So to do that simply go ahead and open up the location where you install all of your games. So for me I'm gonna go ahead and open up Fortnite and then Fortnite game binaries win64 and then scroll down until you find the win64 shipping.exe if you're using a game such as valorant it will have a similar .exe file or even if you are a genshin impact player it will have a similar type of exe file all you need to do is locate that exe file and then simply go ahead and click on add once you have added it, click on options and then just go ahead and click on the high performance option, hit save and now you are done. You can close out of the settings and the final bit of these tiny changes actually comes from the Google Chrome. I know that majority of you will be using Google Chrome and a lot of you guys have the bad habit of keeping it on while you are playing the game. So my first tip would actually be to close the Google Chrome while you are playing the game but if you still insist to keep it on while you are gaming then I have some good news for you. You can go ahead and change some of the settings that will minimize the impact that Chrome has on the CPU as well as RAM resources but still the recommended method would be to close it out completely even from the back end to have a much greater impact on the improvement of FPS. But all you need to do is simply open up Google Chrome then click on these three dots right here and click on settings. Once inside of the settings go into the system section and inside of here make sure that both of these options continue running background apps when Chrome is closed as well as use hardware acceleration when available are turned off. This will require you to relaunch Chrome so simply go ahead and click on relaunch and voila you 
are done. Now we can move on to some of the advanced settings or some of the settings that will have a greater impact on performance than the basic ones. First off, I want you to disable HPET. Now I know that you have heard a lot about the HPET and everyone and their mother tells you to disable it but no one explains why. So that's why Daddy Rack is here. HPET is an inbuilt tool in Windows which can be used to synchronize multimedia and provide smoother playback for your computer. However, if you turn it on when you are gaming, this tool will take away the precious calculation power of CPUs and severely hurt the game performance. This is especially true if you are a loner and play games like Fortnite or Valorant, just like me, which are highly CPU dependent, therefore I highly recommend you to go ahead and disable it, especially if you are using a Ryzen CPU. Now the question becomes how you go ahead and do that, and in order to do that, simply open up your start menu and search for device manager. Go ahead and open it up. Inside of here, under the system devices, you should have the high precision event timer. Simply go ahead, right click on it and then click on disable device, hit yes and that's it. Now you have successfully disabled the HPET. Moving on, go down into the description of this video and download the CPU optimization pack from my website. This website does contain some ads because I need to provide for my family and my 16 kids as well. So yeah, just simply go ahead and skip those ads and then you can go ahead and download the pack. Once the pack has been downloaded, simply go ahead and extract it using 7-zip, WinRAR or really whatever you want. Once it's been extracted, go ahead and open up the pack, open up the folder and you will find two folders along with a bunch of registry and batch tweaks. The first one that you want to apply is actually the basic optimizations regedit. However, I will warn you that this will change a lot of settings including a lot of windows settings that you may not prefer. So I highly recommend you to go ahead and create a restore point at this point. So I highly recommend you to pause this video right now, go and make a system restore point. Because I don't want to hear little Timmy whining about some minute change that he made that he does not prefer anymore and wants to revert that change but he did not create a system restore point. So pause the video, go and and make a restore point and then come back. Now I trust you that you have created the system restore point. Simply go ahead and double click on the basic optimizations regedit.reg hit yes and then hit ok. Also in case you are a new viewer who does not trust me, you can always go ahead and right click on it, click on edit and read everything that's been provided inside of here. It lists all of the settings that you can go ahead and simply copy and paste on Google Chrome to learn more about them. As for the BCD tweaks, I'm sure that all of you have applied these timer tweaks once you were a kid but I need you to reapply them once again. The reason for that is because sometimes when Windows updates or if you have been applying a lot of registry files, these settings can get reset. So all you need to do is right click on it, run it as administrator and then press any key to continue. For the CPU speed, as it says, it will give your CPU some turbo boost so that it can run faster than the Bugatti that you don't own. Simply go ahead, right click, click on merge, hit yes and hit ok. As for the disable memory compression, I have explained this concept in so much detail in my previous videos so if you want to learn more about it, you can simply go ahead and check out those videos. But basically, memory compression, bad, memory non-compression, good. So right click on it, run it as administrator and once it's done, simply press any key to continue. For the disable spectre and meltdown, once again, I have gone into so much detail about this one but a quick TLDR is basically that these are useless features that are no longer required because modern browsers have their own built-in security patches. So that is the reason we want to disable them so that they don't uselessly use up the CPU resources. So simply double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. As for the memory management optimizations, once again, I have explained all of this stuff in my previous videos. Double click, hit yes, hit ok and wake up all cores. It basically does the similar thing to unpacking all of the CPU cores which we will be doing right now but we want to modify the registry as well. So double click, hit yes, hit ok and then move on to the unpack CPU cores. This is a program that will make sure that none of the CPU cores are sitting idle while you are playing the game which can actually provide quite an improvement in the FPS and especially the latency inside of the games that you play. So simply right click run it as administrator and once this interface opens up simply go ahead and click on unpark all hit ok hit apply ok once again and now you can close out of it go back into the pack and open up the updated power plan now for this one to work you will actually need to import the power plan first so this power plan is my own custom power plan that has received quite a few updates from the previous version as well i try to improve it from time to time but basically to start off you need to go ahead and disable power throttling but keep in mind that if you are on a laptop i don't recommend this one because it will cause a lot of heat up issues on laptops which have like bare minimum to no cooling at all so use this on a laptop with caution for your desktop pc users go ahead and use it you have no issues with this right so double click on it hit yes and then hit ok 
As for the import power plant, this will allow us to double click any power plant to simply import it rather than going through the whole CMD process and importing the power plant from there. So double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. Now you should be able to see this little battery icon alongside the request power plant.pow file. If you don't, right click, refresh, it should be there. Double click on it to import it and then go ahead and open up the power plants. And now under the show additional plans, you should be able to see a new power plan called the request power plan. Simply go ahead and click on it and voila. And now you have arguably the best power plan out there. You can close out of this, close out of the back as well. And now you can delete it or keep it. It's really up to you. Finally, there are even some more advanced settings that I want you to do. And for that, you will need to access your BIOS. Inside of there, I want you to do two things. One is to disable C states and second is to enable XMD. B. And in order to do that, you will need to watch this video because BIOS is something that you really need to understand and not mess up. So that video completely explains how you can change these settings for any beginner who has never touched BIOS. So go ahead and watch that video, apply the changes inside of that video and you will see the most improvement out of any of these tweaks by changing those BIOS settings. Finally, a few more tips are to replace the thermal paste on your CPU after 3-5 to five years as it tends to completely wear off in that time making the CPU heat up more and more. And also make sure to clean your system every now and then to help maintain its health and performance of the components. It's really necessary that you keep it clean because the better airflow that you have, the cooler your temps will be and the better your CPU can perform. But now that you are done here, go ahead and check out this video to get even more performance out of your PC.